That's your first competitive game in over six months. Uh, your, your impressions of what was a good contest against me there tonight? Yeah, it was for sure. Um, we knew it was going to be that. Um, and um, they, they were very, very competitive and it was great to get a game like that because we, we didn't really have a benchmark that gives it to us now. Because um, up to this point, we'd only more or less played a couple of internal games. and. Um, so it was good to get the first run out. Um, you know, some of the fundamentals are still uh, to be worked on, but that's what tonight was about, and sharpening us up and to get us ready for um, other games that lie ahead. From your own perspective, just how difficult has it been over the last few months, even the last couple of weeks, I mean, not knowing whether we were going to see inter-county football again in 2020? Yeah, sure. Obviously, that uncertainty um, um, was out there for sure, but um, I tell you, it's a lot better position to be in than where we were at the start of the lockdown when we thought everything was gone for the year so um, look as you just get on with it and make do and uh, embrace what, what comes your way and uh, we're just delighted to be back now at this stage. And a big night for Dean Rock tonight as well surpassing Jimmy Keaton as our all time uh, scorer as well and a uh, fine goal to, to, to mark the occasion. Yeah big night um, for Dean, he played very well um, obviously his run with uh, Ballymun Kickhams in the championship has served him well and uh, he looked sharp which is great. That's Deji, what's your thoughts on, you know, on, like, is it hard to focus everybody when the threat of this all going to the wall is still kind of hanging behind it? Like, you know, how do you manage that? Yeah, it, it is. Um, but, you know, I, I think players by their nature are resilient anyway you know they just got to compartmentalize it and they're aware of it is in the back of their head and they do all that they can to be vigilant and protect themselves and protect their families and uh, uh, we're very conscious of that so um, they've been great from that perspective to work with and yeah this doubt hangs over you constantly but as mentioned earlier there's nothing you can do except embrace it and be grateful for every day that we get to come and play again what did you do like you were here for, for a lot of club matches but what could you do in your role as double manager while you had no access to players. Yeah, I, I think it was just assess and stay in contact and uh, that connection, even though it was mostly over Zoom or video conference or whatever, it, it it's not the same thing, but it was still important nonetheless. Desi, have any of the players expressed any reservations about the championship on the back of this GPS? Or no, uh, not to me, um, for sure anyway. So, um, but look at it, it, this... There's been a lot of doubt the COVID-19 and the increased numbers and the trajectory of the virus in the last two weeks or so. So um, it's always going to give cause for concern. Players are no different. Um, but I think I'm hoping that this weekend was a success for the GA. It's very, very difficult to manage this. And it's uh, the goalposts keep shifting um, week to week. And um, uh, please God, everyone gets through, through it well. And uh, we'll be able to look on to next week with some confidence. Andy was talking there about, you know, players are basically being asked to limit the amount of friends they have, limit visits to loved ones. How, how difficult is it for a panel of inter-county players at the moment? Yeah, it's, it's difficult, but it's difficult for everybody, you know. Um, perhaps it's slightly accentuated because you're an inter-county player and uh, you've that added responsibility, but... Um, you know, the behaviours of every citizen in the country are under scrutiny and, um, and we're no different in that regard. The fellas who aren't here, there's only a couple of them, I think, James McCarthy and Paul Mannion. Like, is anybody under pressure for the championship? It's only a couple of weeks away now. No, we're, we're quite fortunate from that perspective um, that we'll have everybody back. Obviously, you know, there's a couple of knocks tonight now and we'll have to assess them as the, the days go on. But um, we're, we're hoping and looking forward to a clean bill of help so far. Desi, we haven't talked to you since... Both few of the players left, uh, Kieran or Kieran was in particular. Did yeah. that one surprise you or um, talking around or? No, we definitely spoke, and um, yeah, it's the same for all our players. You know, there's been a number that have left and have decided to move on, and um, we we treat each and every one of them the very same. Like if if your heart isn't in it or you think it's it's time for you to move on, we, you know, would hundred percent. Um, respect that decision and um, encourage them to do what's right by them and follow their heart and uh, that's always important to us as a group and um, it's no different than a family if somebody wants to head away or emigrate or whatever you, you have to give them their blessing and uh, that was the case with Dermot and he did it with a bit of class as he as he always does and um, and yeah sure he, he's going to be he's going to be a loss um, and there has been other losses but there are also other opportunities for new players the likes of King Murphy tonight is a great example Johnny Cooper went off into this here. Was that serious? Uh, well, initial assessment, we're hoping it's not too serious, but we'll know more in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm.
Delta. And the structure of a Delta, as I mean, before the National League would end, you'd have a lengthy enough run into Championship, lengthy enough gap then between games, all being well. It's not going to be the case this year. It's going to be hell for leather over the next eight or nine weeks. Yeah, it's it's going to be a fairly hectic schedule for sure. But you know, talking to players, there's there's something quite appealing about that. You know, there isn't the long breaks between games and. Uh, there's always the next game to look forward to and to, to rectify things or do things better or whatever and, and that's what these players feed off you know so um, we're, we're not overly concerned about the volume of work or the schedule that's coming at us in some ways it's to be enjoyed.